welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL Week 8 preview between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots. Now let's start with the road team, New England, in this ball game, and they're coming off a bye, and we know how well the bye teams have fared this season with the new bye rules. They're struggling, but what the Patriots can do to have some success against the Pittsburgh Steelers is they have to play small ball, and the Patriots already do a great job of getting the football out their hands quickly, and what playing small ball is going to do is take advantage of an over-aggressive defense. You're going to force Pittsburgh to be an outstanding tackling team. They're already a solid tackling team, but they have to be outstanding, especially when it's one-on-one -on -one opportunities. The quickness of the wide receivers to make one miss will prove to be a huge success if they can play small ball this week against the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Now, you look at the defensive side of the football, it's all about contain. If you're out of position and you're out of contain versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, it is a touchdown. Reason being, in the past game, Mike Wallace, from New Orleans, so you know he has the speed. He can get deep down the field, so I look for the safeties of the New England Patriots to make sure they stay on the hashes and to keep the wire, stay deepest than the deepest man. Do not get caught looking in the backfield. Don't get caught up in Ben Roethlisberger running around. As long as you see the wide receiver streaking down the field, continue to streak with him, and that gives you a chance to compete on the back half of that defense. And as far as containing in the running game, it's all about sealing the edge. If you're going to blitz Ben Roethlisberger, it better be with the A-gap and B-gap blitz schemes that you guys have. Do not try to get pressure on the outside. All it does is open up lanes for him to take, up, take off and run or step up and find Mike Wallace deep down the field. Now, Pittsburgh comes into this matchup off an impressive victory against the Arizona Cardinals. And what they have to do, getting off the bus to take the Patriots' will, they're coming off a bye, the Patriots. So the Steelers' ground game can put these guys back to sleep. So I look for this team to get back to their, what the logo says. They're tough. They're still. They have to get back to what they do well, and that's getting back to the ground game, whether it be Men Hall or any, anybody back there in the backfield. They have to make sure they get the ground game going to keep these Patriots sleep as returning from a bye week. Also in the passing game, try to get the screen game involved. I think the Patriots will be a little bit more aggressive, so I look for the Steelers to operate more screen passes this week as opposed to last. Now defensively, if you want to defeat the small ball attack, you have to stay up on these wideouts. That's Ike Taylor, that's Clark Company. All these guys have to stay up on these wideouts and stay in the face. Wes Walker should not be able to run freely across the middle. He should be hit from the time he, from the time the ball snaps to the time he gets to the other side of the field as far as route is concerned. So that means a corner, a linebacker, a deep tackle, somebody has to get a bump on him and keep him fighting for through fighting through traffic to get open and that's going to give you the half a second more to get to Tom Brady and I look for special teams to be a huge uh, win for the Steelers. The Steelers have to come in and play sound special teams. I like the special teams unit. They do a great job of flipping field position so that's going to have to be a huge key in this ball game. X factors in this matchup for the New England Patriots. The X factor has to be the linebacking core. If the linebackers can shoot their gaps, play contained on the inside, I think they can do a great job of slowing down what the Pittsburgh Steelers want to do. X factor for the, the New England, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm sorry, has to be the outside rush. If they can get outside pressure on Brady, they're going to cause a huge problem for what they want to do offensively. I'm going with New England in this ball game. I like the passing game. When you're facing a 3-4 defense, the kryptonite is spreading these guys out and widening out that pressure. The Patriots will be able to do so with the 4 and 5th receivers, which will probably be tight ends against this 3-4 defense of the Pittsburgh Steelers. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com. Last football game plan.